Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria. Okay, well today, I was trying to do a card, but I've been having some trouble with my machine and my software on Design Space, so I kind of got really pissed and got angry. And what's the best thing that you do when you guys get angry? You go shopping, right? So guess what? I did a little shopping today. It's not a big shopping haul. I just picked up a couple of things from Tuesday morning and from a Facebook group that I'm that I'm joined and also a HSN outlet. So to get started, I don't know if you guys probably already seen this in a lot of the YouTubers uh, going on their shopping hauls, but um, I ended up picking up some dyes, guys, and. We got these dies right here from Doris, and they're embossing dies. And look at the amount of money that they want for them, guys. These are amazing. So I ended up getting this one, and this one is called a small swirl. And the UPC for this it is oh, we don't have oh, okay, it's one o one six zero seven zero eight zero. So if you guys can't see or hear what I just said, there goes the uh, the SKU number. Not the UPC, but the SKU. And then I ended up picking up this. Um, now, these packages, guys, they're really heavy. I mean, I thought you get more in them, but I guess it's just the die, and then they have, like, a double paper in them. So I ended up picking up this leaf, this tree one right here, and it was $3.99. Then I picked up this snowflake. This one is called the snowflake border. And I picked this one up, and this one was $3.99, too. The name of the tree... Is called tree with branches and the skew number for the snowflake one is one six zero seven zero eight two I'm not sure if they got the same no they got different and the first uh, skew number is one six zero seventy eighty okay then I end up picking up this uh, this is uh, oh I don't even know how to pronounce that guys if you know what that says can you focus Okay, well, anyway, it's a swirl die, and it's pretty, guys. Look at how gorgeous this is. And this was $2.99 also. Then I also picked up this holly die, and this holly die was $2.99. Then I picked up this spellbinder die, and this one I really like. I, you know, guys, I got a lot of spell spellbinder dies, but I barely use them because... It has to have a t particular project. I have to have a particular project to use my dies or my stamps or my papers. I mean, that's just how I uh, decorate my stuff. So this die right here, it says Noel Noel Joy Joy. It has Christmas trees on the top, snowflakes, and candy canes. And it comes out looking like this, guys. You put another piece of layer in the back of the, of the cardstock, and then you get it looking like this. This was $5.99, which I didn't think that was a really bad price because a lot of these, they go for about $15 to $20. So I picked that up. Then I picked up this uh, 99 cents embossing edge folders. And this one is called Saiyans, and it's a three-pack. It says, hello, just a note, and smile. And I thought that was really cute. So I ended up picking that up also. Then I picked up this... This is called a dandelion, and I picked this up, and I really don't know what I picked it up for, but for $2.99, why not just have it in your stash, you know? So I picked that up also, and then I picked up this snowman one, and this one is $3.99, and this is snowman with hat, and guys, to be honest with you, I don't see how I can go about doing anything different with this besides you know cutting out a piece of color cardstock and gluing it to the back of it so you could have a different color but I've also heard a lot of people said that this die does not cut that great so what I'm gonna do after I'm done with this video I'm definitely gonna check it out because if it don't cut good guys I'm taking it back I'm tired of keeping stuff that don't work or that is not suitable for me and keeping it I mean, I'm done with that, that, uh, that Vegas. Then I end up picking up this bell one. And this was called Small Bell. And look at how cute that is. Now, I'm pretty sure I could probably do something with this one. 
I might not, maybe, maybe not. It all depends on when I end up doing my project, what I can come up with this. Because, you know, guys, in a lot of your dyes that you have, you could do different techniques. You just got to look on Pinterest and go around and see because a lot of people do different. They usually take these dyes or like the Martha Stewart or the EK that says border punch or corner punches. And they try to make different other ideas. I mean, try to get different ideas and shapes for that uh, cut. So I end up getting that. Then I end up getting this uh, embossing folder from Doris, and it was 99 cents. And this one is called School Books. And I thought it was so cute because not only for the books, guys, but this pattern back here, I was really, you know, if you don't want to use the whole thing, you could probably use a two inch strip and just have that as a border, which I really, you know, I came up with a couple ideas while I was looking at it. Then I also got this one, and this one it is three pack border bead dies uh, theme. So you have the comb, the honeycomb. Then it says be happy, and if you can see the pictures right there on the side, those are what the embossing folders look like. And I paid ninety nine cents for. Excuse my fingernails, guys. I still haven't really. I've been so busy, I haven't had no time for myself. But today, I had time for myself, but did you think i pay any mind to me? No, I went shopping because it's been a long time, guys. I wanted to do shopping on HSN, uh, on the uh, uh, Anna Griffin stuff, but I just, I, I just can't do it right now, you know? So I figured this little bit that I ended up spending was really not that much, and it's not going to hurt nothing, so I figured I'll just splurge a little bit. Now, on a Facebook group that I'm in, um, there was a lady selling her vintage roses from Altenew stamp set. And she only used the happy birthday and maybe one of the flowers. And she sold it with the dies, guys. So these stamps are sold separately. And then they have the coordinating dies to cut out the flowers. And this is a layered rose. And these, guys, if you have the right ink, these are so Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I just love them and the technique and the the artistry of it. I mean, it just makes, it's just beautiful. So I have to coordinate and stamp the dies, but I have no idea where I placed them. I thought I placed them with both of the sets because I have this alternate set. And then I have the vintage flowers. I just don't have the dies for this one because... I splurged on this and I paid $20 for this one. And then the dies were $25. So it would have been $50 and I didn't want to do that. So with this, the lady was selling the dies and the stamp set for $25, guys. And guess what? You know, I jumped right on that bandwagon and I ran across the country because, guys, that was a really good deal. So I ended up getting that. And... Going back to Tuesday morning, I ended up picking up some paper packs. And they had this uh, paper pack from Colorbook. And it's called Signature Bright Floral. And it's double-sided. And you get 50 patterns. And it was $2.99. And guys, if you need paper, definitely head Tuesday morning. Because they had a new shipment yesterday. I went in today. And they had so many different paper packs. Now, the Tuesday morning by my house only had one or two things that I got. So after I had got it, I turned around, I told her, I says, you know, I'm going to head up to the one up by my way in Tampa. So I went to the one in Tampa and also the one in Brandon also. So I took my mom with me and we went, we went for a little joy ride and we had a lot of fun and we ate some Spanish food, Puerto Rican food. Mostly, you know, you get Puerto Rican food from a place that is Cuban or Dominican and they say it's Spanish food. But guys, this was original Boricua food and it was so good, so good. But I keep on forgetting that they cook with a lot of ham. So I ended up getting color rice and it had ham in it. But I didn't see the ham when I was looking at the color rice. So I had to kind of pick the ham out because I don't do no pork. But anyway, back to the paper pack. Let me show you how beautiful this paper is, guys. There goes one side and there goes the other side. Look at how beautiful that is. And then here goes another set. And this is double-sided. And then this one's double-sided. And then look at how beautiful that is. And I mean, they're gorgeous, bright papers, guys. And for 2 dollars 
you know the pinks and blacks and whites and reds I mean those colors are awesome look at how beautiful that is look at that one the yellow oh my god this paper is so beautiful and you know guys I wasn't even gonna get it because I told myself I told myself no Gloria you don't need no paper no you don't need no paper but guess what I had to get the paper because I don't have none of this paper and this paper is gorgeous guys so I picked up that pack then I remember and I kind of probably could have got this much cheaper because it had a hot buy sticker on it and usually the hot buy stickers they run about $5.99 or $5 but either way I still went and um, I still got this because I don't have this in my stash. And this is called the Neon Cheek uh, Stat. And it looks like this. And it's kind of a shiny paper. And this was one of the main reasons why I didn't get them at first. Because it's kind of hard to tape on this sl slicky paper unless you use like red tape. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Look at the green, the purples, the blues. I mean, this paper pack is awesome. And look at that. Oh, that would have been a pretty one for Halloween. Oh, I'm trying to make sure that my machine stops acting up. Because it kept on telling me that it was unable to cut. That I have to call the company. Which I never had to do that before, guys. But I didn't want to be online for no two hours waiting for Cricket to find out what's going on. So I figure I just down. I just... You know, shut my computer off and then see. But, um, I then I went shopping. I decided to go out and go shopping. So I got that paper pack. Then I've never seen this paper pack nowhere, not in none of the stores or anything. So, this paper pack right here, it is called Text and Photo Solids and Overlay. Now, the overlay, I don't know what they're talking about, but let's see. So, this paper comes with some vinyl. Not vinyl, but uh, vellum. And I don't know how you would do this. You would probably cut it up with your scissors or you would probably... I don't know. But it comes with craft paper also. And then look at this paper that it comes with. This paper has sort of like um, a gingham or plaid kind of look to it. Or it is a texture, guys. That's what I meant to say. And then it's shiny. So look at the colors that I get out of this. This is so beautiful. Look at this purple and this green. I mean, this purple and green. Oh, my God. Look at how gorgeous that is. And it's lavender. Then you got this teal. And then the yellow. And, I mean, I fell in love with this paper. And, like, again, like I said, I wasn't planning to get none. Then I found the deal. And I know this is not craft created, but um, craft re related. I'm sorry. But I ended up picking up some new nail polishes. And these are from Sally Hansen called Miracle Gel. And these are amazing, guys. You don't need no lamp for these. All you need is a top coat. And these will last you about five days if you do not do no work. If you're like me, the minute you paint your nails, you have to do something. Then it won't last that long. This is why I don't go to a salon to go get my nails done because I'm constantly doing something. I'm either working with paper, cooking, cleaning, you know, taking, helping my mom out. So there's a lot of things. So this one right here is called Miss Wonderless. Then I end up getting the Tipsy Gypsy. Then I got this one, which is Tea Party. And Tea Party is really pretty. It's like a shimmery blue. Then I got this Buffalo Nickel, which I love this silver. And, of course, I needed to get me some purple, so I got Bo Boha Agogo. Boha Agogo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me see. Oh, it's not going to focus. Okay, there it goes. So, I ended up picking up that. And then, I went to HSN, and I went to a couple of stores because they have a deal going on. Starting today, and it ends on the 20th, is a store-wide sale. Take an extra 30% off your purchase. So, they had the Explore 1 there, but I don't want the one with just one cartridge. I'm waiting to see and hope and pray and cross my fingers that they have the gold version there. A gold edition. 
But anyway, this is the out HSN outlet. It's not HSN that's online, guys. This is a store that I go to that's located up in Tampa, Largo, and Brandon. And they also have one up in Sarasota also. And it's only located in the state of Florida. So sometimes I usually don't buy anything on HSN because they'll usually have it. If you just wait a little bit, they'll probably have it there. So as you can see, this set right here costed me... It was $39, and I only paid $10.99, and then I donated a dollar for uh, HSN Care Heart Walk donation, so I donated a dollar. So this is what I ended up getting, which is the um, Anna Griffin Lovely Impress Folds, and this is awesome, guys, because for $10, I ended up getting all of this. So I ended up getting these dies. Which the dies alone is well worth it, just for $10. You have this heart die. And then, check out this die right here. This is an X and O die. This is going to be perfect for, um, for what? For Valentine's. Ooh, I almost lost my mind there a second. So I end up getting those dies. And I really didn't want the dies, because like I said, I have a lot of dies and I barely use them now. But these are, that's one of the dies that came with it. And then it came with eight embossing folders, guys. This embossing folder, it is called Dancing Bowls. And it's a 5 by 7 And it has a 2-inch border. And it's awesome, guys. I just love it. Then I end up getting this one. Which this one is called Flower Grid. And this goes... With this one, I think, and this, this, yep, this one says flower grid. And I'm so glad that they started putting the names on the folders, guys, which is amazing. It keeps my craft room looking a little bit more decent. And then I ended up, it, come, it came with this embroidery heart, and it came with the border. And look at how beautiful. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Hold on a second. Let me see if I could show you. Look at how gorgeous this is, guys. Just imagine your paper being embossed like that. And it's got swirly hearts in them. That's one of them. And then here goes the grid flower one. And look at how pretty that one is. That one's gorgeous. And then this one, this the bow ones that I didn't show you. But I'm going to show you right now. And look at this one. Gorgeous. And then they came with. This one right here, which this one is called Weaving Woven Diamonds. And look at how gorgeous that is. Anna Griffin, she, or her stuff is so elegant. Then we got, I got four 5x7s and then four 8 by 6 uh, four by six, or four by five, I think it is. Then this one, it is looks like this. It got hearts with tassels on it. And this one is called Hearts and Tassels. <laughs> then I ended up picking up this one also that it came with it. And this one, it is called Double Hearts. And look at how gorgeous that is. Then this one right here, it is called Rose Hearts. Look at how gorgeous those heart flowers are with the hearts, with the roses and the hearts. Then the last and not least, I end up picking up this one and it says Scripted Love. Now this folder was, it was this one and two other ones that I just fell in love with. And I didn't see these nowhere, and I don't have them. So I ended up picking them up, and I paid $10 for all of this, guys. $10 for this set. So, guys, the paper packs were $5.99 each. Besides, this one was $2.99. The, the dies were $2.99 to $3.99, depending on which ones you pick. So, guys, there goes my little haul. I so do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please thumbs up. And I had my share of fun. So now it'll probably be another couple of months before I go and spend some money because we're going through something right now. But like I told you guys, um, I'll definitely, when I feel comfortable enough, I'll definitely talk to you about it. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. 
And I love you guys. Don't forget, head over to your Tuesday morning. And if you live in the state of Florida, in Tampa Bay area, head over to your HSN. They have some good goodies there, okay, guys? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.